Hi everyone, this is Sarah from Ojai, California. I wanted to share a story with you that had happened recently. I was hosting and teaching a group in Malibu about prayer in the 21st century. And the morning that I woke up for this event, I read my email and I discovered that my housing in Ojai had fallen through. And I was beside myself, I started laughing because the same thing happened four years ago for the same event in Malibu, where the day of the event, my housing had completely fallen apart in Topanga. And so I started laughing when I saw this, this email because I just couldn't believe that it was happening again. And the first thing I thought of was, wow, is this a test? God, is this a test of my prayer abilities? What is this? Four years ago, I was in tears. I was so distraught that this had happened. I remember crying on the way to the event even, wondering how I was going to keep it all together when the security of my housing situation had fallen apart. And this time, I was just in pure amusement. I could not believe that the same thing had happened. So I prayed, and my prayer was, God, I need a place to do your work. I need a sanctuary. And I applied all the things that I had written from the book. I just felt what it was that I really needed. And I trusted and I surrendered. Um, and I had no idea what was going to happen. I just completely let it go. And I decided that this time I wasn't going to go into the drama of what was going on. I had to stay centered and focused and calm to, to teach a group. So I ended up calling a friend and I let him know what was going on. And as I was speaking to him, I pulled over on the side of the road and I went to Coldwell Banker of all places. And I let the person at Coldwell Banker know what was going on and that I needed to find a place right away. And she just looked at me. She started, we both started to put our heads together and she said, are you a spiritual person? Do you like meditation? And I said, yes, I do. And, and she suggested this meditation center in Ojai that I stay there, but I had already known that they did not rent any spaces at this place. And she kept insisting that that would be the perfect place for me. And within an hour, I was up at the center when I had called. One of the board members happened to pick up the phone. And within an hour of saying the prayer, I had met someone here. She happened to be leaving the same exact week that I needed the place, which was that week. <laughs> and everything just synchronously came together. And also within that hour, another interesting thing happened. A friend of mine had texted me and from Santa Monica and said that she had a room open and asked if I had wanted to stay with her in Santa Monica. So within an hour of things falling apart and saying a prayer, um, things came together even better than I could have imagined. I could have never imagined staying in a beautiful place um, so conducive to the work that I love to do, which is coaching and teaching and um, teaching meditation. So it, it was really a miraculous experience and such a different experience from four years ago where I felt really defeated from what had happened. And the reason I'm sharing the story with you is for several reasons. First, synchronicity, when something happens and there's a meaningful coincidence, whether that coincidence is positive or negative, there's always an opportunity to grow and to act in a different way. So oftentimes when we're presented with the same situation, we're being asked to expand a part of ourselves to expand our own consciousness and be in a different way and you might have experienced this in relationships with certain people where you you face the same challenge or the same obstacle and that synchronicity is an invitation to grow 
and expand who you are. And secondly, with the aspect of prayer. So when I speak about prayer, I'm not talking about prayer in the traditional sense where you're praying to a God that's outside of you. This is about your ability to co-create powerfully with grace, with source, with divine intelligence. And when you can embody and embrace that which you know you need or desire to create, then it can help bring forth your prayer and the answer to your prayer. Um, the answers to our prayer are within us. So once you put that request in and you follow your inner promptings, your inspiration, and your guidance, it can lead you naturally towards what it is that you want to create. I hope you enjoyed the story. I always love hearing from you, and I look forward to staying in touch. I'm right now in the finishing stages of completing the prayer book. I don't yet have a title for this book, but I'm very excited to share it with you. It's filled with meditations that really help create a paradigm shift in what we know about prayer, prayer more as a shift in consciousness, and um, I look forward to sharing it with you soon. Thanks for listening. Namaste.